Morning, everybody. In today's morning markets, I am going to cover the US interest rate decision last night and also any discussion that came through from the press conference. Okay, so what was the background ahead of the meeting? So as we came into the year, you might remember that there were six 0.25% interest rate cuts that were priced into the US market. Now, what have we seen since then? Well, you've seen inflation prove stickier than many expected, and you've seen very tight labor markets overall. So now there's only one 0.25% interest rate cut, priced in the US. So investors were very focused around what is the direction of interest rates for this year into next year? What's the Fed's reaction function to stickier inflation and the fact that it's taking longer to come down to that 2% target for inflation that the Fed committee has? So what happened uh, last night, as widely expected, interest rates stayed on hold. So interest rates in the US remain at five and a quarter to five and a half percent. And they've been on hold since July. But probably what's a bit more interesting for myself and and the investment team is to really dig into the wording around the press conference. So what did Jerome Powell say? So he said that it's unlikely that the Fed next move will be to increase interest rates which is very much seen as a a positive. However, he did stop short of signaling interest rate cuts, and he didn't say that interest rates were at their peak, which is something that he has said before. If we look at what's happening within bond markets, the Fed have guided that it's going to reduce the volume of treasuries that they are selling down each month, so what we call quantitative tightening. So that's going to be reduced from $60 billion to $25 billion. And the Fed acknowledged inflationary pressures, leading to that lack of further progress towards the the 2% inflation target overall. So finally for me, what happened in asset markets? How did they react? Um, Probably as you'd expect. So you saw within bond markets, US treasuries at the 10-year They fell yields around about five basis points. At the two-year, you saw yields come through that 5% level overall. And you saw the dollar weaken. So on a trade-weighted basis, the dollar weakened by around about half a percent. Just before I finish, uh, I do want to shamelessly plug something, and that is our podcast. So it's going to be our monthly review, uh, which will have Dan Harrison, our CEO, and then different people from different streams within the business telling you everything that's happened over the month. Thanks a lot. Speak to you soon.